Welcome back to the farm. I'm Bo McFall. This is McFall Farms. We're walking you through raising quality meat goats of different varieties. So today we're going to talk about how to take a proper temperature on a goat. Uh, this is something that if you have issues or if you have any kind of sickness or any kind of worries about what's going on with your herd, one of the first thing a vet or anybody else is going to ask you that knows goats is what is their temperature? There's three things you have to have, and we're gonna cover that today in this video. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, the like and share, uh, ring the notification bell so you can keep up with future videos. Let's take a look at how to properly take the temp of a goat. I told you that there is three things that you absolutely have to have in order to take a goat's temperature. And those three things are, number one, number one is you have to have a goat. Seems obvious enough, right? The number two thing that you have to have to take a goat temperature is, any guesses? Absolutely correct. You need a thermometer. Any kind will do, the old school glass kind, or any more, I prefer the digital. You can spend a few extra dollars instead of having to wait 60 seconds. A few extra dollars at my CVS pharmacy got me this one with a five second reading. Uh, not very expensive, I think it was about $17. I would recommend this to be in your goat bag of care. And number three things you have to have to take a goat temperature is for the goat's comfort as well as your ease of doing this procedure is you have to have, can you take a guess? Absolutely correct. Some form of lubrication. So I opt for the good old petroleum jelly. Some people use KY, the medical lubricants, things like that. But uh, good old petroleum jelly works every time. So, All right, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to take the temperature of this three-year-old Kiko doe. She just had a week ago today, a set of twins, and she's had a few issues. After three or four days, she kind of stopped nursing as much, dodging the kids, acting a little lethargic. Uh, we went ahead and checked her Famacha scoring, and she, her parasite load was up. So we have since wormed her a couple of days ago, did some general maintenance and aftercare uh, to look for. I'll leave a card for another video covering that. But today, we're gonna check her temperature, make sure she's within range. And range on a goat is about 101.5 to 103.5, so pretty tight little range there. Just like humans, they can have a low-grade temperature or high-grade temperature. Uh, high-grade will be a sign of some form of infection. If you're not already a member, I would encourage you to reach out to some different chat rooms. I'm, on a, I'm a member of many different goat-type Facebook pages. A lot of fantastic information, super helpful people out there. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I produce some videos like this is to help you as you grow your, your business and, and your farm. So if these videos are helping you, please hit the subscribe button and the, turn on the notifications for upcoming videos. Uh, but right now we're going to show you how to properly check for the temperature of a goat. Like one thing you want to definitely do without fail, make sure you clean your thermometer each and every time. Uh, don't leave that dirty. Baby wipes work great, uh, I, or alcohol wipes of some kind. I use, uh, right now, I've just got some isopropyl alcohol and a rag. We'll clean that up and, and get her temp. So let's do that now. Get some isopropyl alcohol and a rag. Clean the tip real good. I'm using a digital thermometer. You can use an old school. Uh, they have all different types, but it's completely up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. A uh, little bit of petroleum jelly on the tip. Now you want to insert this basically about two to two and a half inches into the rectum. So make sure you get one that's got enough length to it. You want to hold it there. If you're using old school, it's two minutes. Uh, these, you just set them, hold them till they beat. Uh, it can vary in, in range. This one was about $20. It says five seconds. It varies five to 15 seconds or so. 
But uh, anyhow, here we go. Got to get hold of her, and we'll get her. We'll get her checked. Give me a little bit. Okay. You're okay. So obviously this is a little easier with some help, but I don't have any today. We're gonna restrain her as best I can, turn the thermometer on, we're gonna insert it into the rectum. Insert it into the rectum, give it time to do its thing. All right, 100.6, she is here in the shade, so Overall, I don't think she has a, a very low fever. Right at 101.5, half a degree either way, purely low side or high side. So we're right in there, which is a good sign. That means the treatments we're using for are working. If you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and feel free to leave comments below. We appreciate your feedback on how you do things at your farm.